This is in response to uh, Gina, uh, Italian stallion at um, Under the Tongue video. Uh, it's a hospital story, and I'm, I'm going to end it with a um, human interest story. Hold on. But the first story is like so freaking funny, I have to tell you. When I was 28, I had a total hysterectomy. And prior to going into the hospital, the doctor told me, you know, the pain is going to be so horrendous and there's nothing I can do. I give you dopey enough that you don't feel it, but I really can't do anything. I just wash my hair. I did. Anyway, um, but he said, um, no painkiller is going to kill it. So my mother, who had been through numerous amounts of surgery, said to me, look, after the third day, it's mostly gas and have abdominal surgery because the air gets in when they cut. So ask for a rectal tube, and a rectal tube is uh, just a tube. That's what it is. It's like well, maybe the end of a douche bag, or uh, a, uh, I know you girls today don't know what a douche bag is, but or a uh, an enema bag. Just that tube it goes into the rectum and it releases the air. So after the third day, I was still in horrendous pain, and um, I called in a nurse. This is like 79.80. And in those days, the nurses still dressed in those little starched hats and those prim and proper green, white uniforms. Cute. It's a button they were. Uh, so this really young girl, she just started. She just got out of school. What year is it? She was like, she had just gotten out of school. Um, she she puts in the rectal tube, and I'm like out of it. I'm on morphine. I'm stoned out of my mind. I pay no attention to her doing it. And I go back to sleep, and I all of a sudden I hear like. Oh, something's hitting my butt. So I pick up my sheet. Now, I, as soon as I pick up my sheet, this hand comes out and it's going. It's a surgical glove tied to the end of the rectal tube, full of air, and it's waiting. And it was patting me on the ass. I had to tell my mother because it was so funny. I had to call. So I called my mother and I said, Mama. And, and I couldn't laugh because of the incision. I had a pillow up against me. But I knew I couldn't laugh. I kept hanging up on her. So I did that three times. Finally, she called the nurse's station and told them, there's something wrong with my daughter. Can somebody go check on her? So like five five nurses came in at that point. I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair, but it's driving me crazy. So like about five nurses came in, including the little cutie. And... Um, they said, what's the matter? What's the matter? And I picked up the sheet and showed them, and the hand went, do, 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 do. Well, they were hysterical. They were dying. So the little nurse, you could see, she was like, so I said, why did you do that? And she said, well, I thought, you know, if I tied that, put that tube in and didn't tie something on it, the gas would go in to the air and maybe disturb the other patient, the patient in the next bed or go out in the hall. So I tied something to catch the gas. She did a good job. They caught it. Uh, well, I had my doctor came in the next day. He was falling on floor. I just had to tell you that. But the human interest story I have is that when my husband got cancer for the second time, we were in Sloan Kettering, and the insurance paid for just so much. So we had a shitload of bills. I'd say we owed 10 different doctors because now they call them all in, the specials, that one. So we just couldn't pay them. Um, so I called, I, I wrote each one, and then I called each one. I said, look, I can give each one of you, and this is like 1985, uh, each one of you $5 a week. Because they, they were terrible. And that's the best I can do, or, or I can give you nothing. So they all agreed. They said $10 a week's good. So like they were bills for like 150 200 300 So I ended up, I paid them all off. And then about a week after they were all paid off, I got in the mail a check for $150 from a doctor. And I don't know his name because this all went through the collection agency and the lawyers and stuff. So I don't know the doctor's name over in Sloan Kettering. It was an Italian doctor, which I was an hour down. But anyway, I got a note back from the um, collection agency to, to Joe and said, please... Uh, take your wife out to dinner with this. And I just thought, wow, that was like amazing. And I did that. So yeah, they're out there.